What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today we're going to discuss the release date for the final public version of iOS 13 and also how you can update to it from the developer or public betas. So yes, we now have a release date for the final version of iOS 13. Well, almost. So basically yesterday iOS 13 beta 7 was released to developers and a website called iHelpBR found an image hidden within the OS titled hold for release. So you can see it right here titled hold for release. And on this image, you can see there that the calendar shows Tuesday, September 10th. So if you combine the fact that this image is titled hold for release and the calendar icon there shows Tuesday with a 10 indicating that this is Tuesday, September 10th, that definitely tells us that Apple's keynote where they announced the new iPhones is going to fall on Tuesday the 10th. And I know you may be asking, well, why would Apple have this image inside of the OS? What does this image even do? And why does it matter what the date is? Well, this is actually the image that Apple Apple uses when setting up a device for the first time. So basically this is just going to be a static image on the setup screen when you set up the brand new iPhones and they will be demoing this on stage as well. And it will have the current date right there, which will be September 10th. And this would definitely line up with their past event schedules because Apple does usually hold these events on either Tuesday or Wednesday on the second week of September. So it's always the second week of September. If we take a look at the calendar there, you can see the 10th does fall on the Tuesday, which again, they like to do it on Tuesday or Wednesday. So that would line up with the past of Apple's keynotes. So of course, at that event, we can expect to see the brand new iPhones. You can see I have some dummy models of the new iPhones here with the triple camera setup. They look kind of weird. A lot of people don't like this design. I actually think it looks pretty good. I think the final will look even better. These kind of stick out and protrude a little bit more than I would like, but I'm imagining the final version of the new iPhones will look a lot better and more sleek than a lot of people think. Now I did also run a poll over on Twitter. So if you're not following me on Twitter, definitely go ahead and follow me over there. But I did run a poll, basically asking you guys what you think the naming scheme will be this year and you can see there's quite a selection a lot of people think it's gonna be called the iPhone Pro people just think the iPhone 11 11 Max 11 R there's a lot of different naming scenarios and it's kind of crazy that we're less than a month away and we still don't know the exact name of the new iPhones coming out. So let me know down in a comment below what you think the name of the new iPhones will be. I'm really curious about your thoughts. So now let's bring our attention back to iOS 13. So we can expect the announcement of the new iPhones and iOS 13 on September 10th right here. That is the Tuesday. But what about the actual release date? So for the new iPhones, they will likely be available to pre-order on that Friday. So Friday the 13th, Yes, Friday the 13th, we will be able to pre-order the new iPhones. And then the following week on the 20th is when we will see the iPhones actually start shipping and be available in store. So Friday, September 20th, but iOS 13, the final release of iOS 13 always comes either three or four days before the release of the new iPhones. So for instance, last year in 2018, iOS 12 released on September 17th and the iPhone XS and XS Max launched four days later on the 21st. And in 2017, iOS 11 released on September 19th and the iPhone 8 released three days later on the 22nd. And it was the same situation in 2016 when iOS 10 released on September 13th and the iPhone 7 was released three days later on the 16th. So three days later in 2017 and 2016, but in 2018 it was four days later. So if history is any indication, that means that we will see the final release of iOS 13 on either Monday, September 16th or Tuesday, September 17th. Now Wednesday the 18th is all also a slight possibility, but Apple does not usually wait that long. So I would bet on either Monday the 16th or Tuesday the 17th. So mark your calendars. That's when you can expect the final version of iOS 13 to be released. So now what should you do to prepare for the final version if you're on a developer or a public beta right now? So for instance, I am on developer beta seven right here on my iPhone 10R, public beta six on my iPhone 10S Max. So what should I do to prepare? And I've been asked this question numerous times and basically every video I've done on iOS 13. So let's just quickly answer that question. So first off, just because you're on a beta doesn't mean you will not get the final build of iOS 13 or anything like that. It's not going to mess up the update process or anything like that. So what's going to happen is that on the day of the iPhone event, so on September the 10th right here, us beta testers are going to be getting another beta release. So if we go into our settings, 
go to general software update on the 10th we will see a new update in here and that is most likely going to be the gm build so the gm build or the gold master build is the same build as the final public release of ios 13 that's going to be released to everybody on the following week so we will most likely get that gm build on the 10th and then the following week is when it will be available to everybody else so that of course means that you won't get an update in your iPhone, when you go over here to software update, you will not get an update because you're already running the GM build, the same build that everybody else is just now getting. Now, of course, things could change and Apple could find a bug or something like that that needs patched and that calls for a new build number. And in that case, you will get an update for iOS 13 in your software update section in your settings. But of course, I will keep you posted if anything like that happens. Just keep it locked to the channel. Definitely September is definitely a time you want to be subscribed to my channel so you are notified and aware of everything going on. But people have also asked me if removing the profile does anything so if you go into your profiles right here and just remove the profile that's not going to do anything except for prevent you from getting future beta updates you will still get public updates but you will not get any more beta updates but it's not going to like erase your data or anything like that so don't worry about that so anyways i hope that cleared up some things for you and i hope you guys are excited as well for the release of ios 13 and of course the new iphones as well let me know all your thoughts and comments down there in the comment section below also let me know what you think the naming scheme is going to be like for the new iphones it's going to be a little bit different this year definitely a lot of people thinking a lot of reporters saying that it is going to be an iphone pro or iphone 11 pro we don't really know just yet so let me know what you think down in the comment section below but anyways guys thanks again for watching the video and i'll see you soon